Well, enough vaccine doses for about 20 million Americans could become available this month, but health officials say distributing those vaccines could be challenging. When it comes to distribution plans here in Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis says it's people living in long-term care facilities who will be the first to get the doses once they're available. As News 6 reporter Mark Lehman explains, the governor also talked about the other groups that are high priorities. The priorities released yesterday is a slight shift in recommendations from the CDC. The governor says that's because people living at facilities like this one are at the highest risk and a vaccine will significantly drop the mortality rate. Distributing a vaccine across a large and diverse state uh, is a big challenge, but this is a major priority for the state of Florida. Governor Ron DeSantis addressing Florida residents on Wednesday and laying out what he says will be the most effective plan for distributing a vaccine once it's approved. But we know we will not, nor will any state, have enough to vaccinate everyone right off the bat. So we've had to set priorities. The governor prioritizing residents of long-term care facilities before anyone else. Healthcare workers in high-risk environments are second on the list. That's followed by seniors and those with other risk factors. Lori Kovac says her staff and residents at Sonata in Winter Garden have been anticipating the announcement. The vaccine is going to mean life. It's going to um, bring life back to the communities. It's going to allow our family members to come back in. However, most of the population will have to wait. With the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines requiring two doses and storage restrictions, DeSantis says approval of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine may be the best bet for widespread distribution. Uh, they have already produced this at an industrial scale. Uh, importantly, it only requires one dose and it doesn't require any type of special storage. And the governor says it will likely be January or February before we see the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. As for residents in long term care facilities, all eyes are on the Pfizer vaccine, which could be approved as early as next week. In Winter Garden, Mark Lehman getting results. News 6.